Today we're taking a look at the new e-scoot Natunu. It's the update to the old Voyager. There's loads of new features on this bike to cover and we're going to talk about them all in this video today. Towards the end of the video, we're going to answer a lot of your questions that you've had about e-scoot bikes in the past. We're going to talk about maintenance, replacement parts, customer service and who these bikes are actually for in the first place. So if you want to skip to that point, I'm not going to be offended. You can skip through the time chapters in the video and it covers a lot of the questions that all of you have had about these bikes in the past. But first of all, let's take a look at the brand new Natunu from eScoot. specs here in front of me I just wanted to run through them quickly so you know exactly what's on this bike it's 1249 pounds in the UK at the moment if there is any discount codes or anything I will link them in the description down below and in the pinned comments so go and check that out down there while you're down there please make sure you do subscribe we've got lots of other electric bike videos coming soon along with tech videos every single week so really appreciate to give this video a like as well it really does help so the most important thing about this bike is that it is road legal here in the UK. It's limited to 15 and a half miles per hour. It's got a 250 watt Bafang motor, so it's a good reliable hub motor, which is going to give you that electric power. The battery as well is a Samsung battery, 36 volts, 14.5 amp battery which is going to be reliable and good for a lot of charges and they do have replacement parts on the website so if you're using this bike a hell of a lot and you need to replace the battery or you want extra batteries in the future as well for extending those rides then they're available on the website. The claim mileage is an improved up to 65 miles now we, what we'll do is probably test that I'm not sure I'll be able to ride 65 miles but we'll, we'll try and test the range over a couple of days maybe and see if we can get the 65 miles out of these batteries we've got seven speed shimano uh, shifters and gears like we had on the previous model it's always good to have shimano gears are ultra reliable and it's a greaseless chain on this thing as well so you're gonna have no problems there the main update though is a brand new led display on the stem which allows you to control the bike through the new e-scoot app as well you can control things like the riding mode you can turn the lights on and off and you can keep track of all your journeys and your total mileage over the year if you've already got one of these bikes i will link the app in the description down below as well so you can download it it's a brilliant accompaniment for these bikes and uh, yeah really good to have the other features that that offers by having the app on your phone it also has a smart locking feature so it's added safety as well so you, nobody can ride away with the bike on electric mode anyway unless they've got your mobile phone so that that's uh, a great feature they've got built into the app for extra security a lot of people were asking for updated finishing kit better grips better brake levers, better saddle, things like that, and they've definitely improved that on this new Natunu bike compared to the Voyager. It feels a lot more premium, a lot better to ride, and a lot more comfortable as well. Okay, let's talk about e-scoot then, and uh, address some of the issues, some of the maintenance questions you'll have. Look, full transparency, I've done sponsored videos for e-scoot, but I'm not gonna sit on this bike and tell you that it's good if it's not, but I can, honestly say and this is coming from somebody who's been making youtube videos for five years now and i feel like i've like built up a good reputation for myself for being honest and sort of telling the truth about products if they're good or not and look there's expectations about this bike you know have to be realistic it's not a giant it's not a trek but for the money you're paying for it i understand like 1200 300 pounds is still quite a lot of money this bike is good spec and for the miles i've been doing on it it's been reliable and i've had no issues i understand that some people have had some issues and that's fine you I understand that and i understand the frustrations but for a lot of the comments sometimes that you get on this channel or other videos i see saying that steer clear of e-scoot bikes is just for me a little bit ridiculous these things are good for what you pay for yes some of the spec has to be improved and as a influencer as somebody who's ridden and tested these bikes in the past i've actually made sure that i tell the company if there's something i think they can improve like the grips have improved the brakes have improved the actual finishing kit has been improved other things i do think they could improve like the bottom bracket the 
could be a lot more refined i think there's some creaks and cranks coming from it occasionally but sometimes that is just the fact that it needs cleaning and maybe a little bit of wd-40 as well maintenance wise i ordered parts for the e-scoot bike and it came within a couple of days it was shipped from a company in cardiff so you can get spare parts you can get additional accessories relatively quickly batteries you can buy as well if you want a spare one or a replacement battery off the website for about 250 pounds i think they are which is a decent price for the range you're getting out of this bike customer service wise yeah i totally agree with some of you they you know, could improve that and we're working with the company and myself i'm trying to help out as much as i can uh, answer some of the comments answer some of the questions on the facebook group as well so they definitely can improve on that and they know that so they are working on improving they are listening to the customers they are improving the bike in the ways that the influencers and the people that test the bikes tell them to as well so they're trying their best this for the price for the money is a compelling buy to me i still would recommend buying one of these bikes for certain clientele you need to know what bike you're buying and you know which one you want and which bike suits you and your riding style for one as well but when it comes to maintenance and uh, fixing these problems these are bike shops you can take take them to yes there's actually a couple that specialize in e-scoot bikes around the country let me get up this bit Whew. I will link them in the description down below. I can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head, but there is one. Uh, if you join the Facebook group, you'll see um, a couple of recommendations, but I'll leave them the link in the description so you can get to them. The only thing really you need to worry about is for the battery, you can get replaced if you have a problem with the battery. They're good for 800 charges, I think, around that. If you have a problem, you can buy a replacement. Uh, and if you have a problem, get in touch with eScoop maybe. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they'll replace it for you if you have a problem early on. These obviously come with a warranty as well, so you are covered for certain things and hopefully they'll get so sorted if you, if you do have a problem. The only other thing you have to worry about really having any issues with, other than general bike maintenance, whether it's electric bike or normal bike, is the motor. I understand that can possibly be a bit of a pain in the backside to replace. It's something that your local bike shop should be able to do. And if they don't want to do it, then they're not in the bike shop I would be wanting to go to because of certain bike shops I've been to are just sort of lazy and they don't want to take on the jobs. They just want easy jobs for easy money. So find a, a bike shop that you trust. Who is this bike for? Well, that is, it's, it's a sensitive subject because these aren't racing bikes. These aren't mountain bikes for going off really complicated and technical trails. These are commuter stroke leisure bikes. They, without sounding ageist, and I don't mean to come across ageist, if I do, I apologize for offending anybody, I apologize, but these bikes are for the older generation. They're, they're for people who want to get out and get a bit of freedom back, maybe gain fitness, maybe lose a bit of weight for the older, person because that's the, the spec of the bike fits the older generation i put myself in that category i ride this bike for leisure for getting fit i'm um, let myself go i'll be totally honest with you i'm one of those people over the last four or five years so getting back into fit having that extra bit of motor power really really helps so in conclusion look these bikes i st i think they're good they've improved them they are bringing out new accessories all the time they've just brought out uh, a new plus and minus uh, mode changer that you can add to this new Bluetooth display that they've put in on these because the customers wanted the ability not just to cycle through the menu and the modes, but to actually use your thumb to change the modes as well. So they've added that, they are listening to the customer. They're good bikes for the price. And I can't guarantee that you won't have any issues, but yeah, I fully recommend them. I think they're decent electric bikes for certain clientele and yeah that's sort of the theme of this video so overall i really do like the new natunu for the price i'm thinking you're getting a cracking electric bike and like we discussed about who this is for the maintenance and other things you i, I really do still recommend e-scoot bikes apart from some of the flaws they do have they are striving to improve as a company so i do fully recommend them for the price you're paying 
they are very good bikes. So if you want to grab one, there will be a link in the description down below. Like I said, look out for discount codes as well. That will be an affiliate link and it helps this channel grow at no extra cost to yourself. So if you purchase for that link, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So yeah, go and check them out, show them some love. You can follow them on Instagram for updates as well. Anything else I found out, I'll keep you updated. But that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.